Hey, let's draw a liger in three easy steps. What's a liger? Stick around, you'll find out. Hey everybody, welcome to Simple Tunes. My name's Arrow. Let's get to it. Today we're going to draw a liger. And you're thinking, what is a liger? Well, a liger is a cross between a lion and a tiger. And we're going to just follow along with what I'm doing here. And we're going to show you what a liger looks like. Okay, first things first, we're gonna draw this guy standing up. Now, if you followed me along on the tiger, we had him sitting down. So today, we're gonna draw him standing up. So it's a little bit of a different position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with an oval. And this is gonna be the body. So you're gonna wanna make the body represent how big your liger's gonna be. So here we go, we're just gonna go around. And I'm gonna go just a little bit bigger than that. Okay, that's a pretty good size right there. All right, then we're gonna draw a head, and the head's gonna be a big, just a regular circle, like this. All right, and then when we get that done, we're gonna draw two ears, and those are gonna be with triangles. And we'll draw one over here as well. And then for the nose, we're gonna draw two circles little ovals actually like this so there's one and there's number two and you can kind of see where the nose is going to be here okay now for the legs we're going to use ovals to draw the legs now the way a cat's legs bend is they bend with the knees inwards a horse the knees bend outwards but with a cat and a dog and a lot of mammals the knees bend inwards so when we draw these things we're going to have to draw them with the assumption that the legs are going to bend in like this So that'll give you a basic idea of how the legs go. Now you don't want to go the other direction because like I said, hoofed animals like horses and goats and things like that, their knees bend outwards. Okay, so what we're going to do is when you get these lines in, we'll just draw some ovals to represent each leg in its section. And these are just reference lines. Like I said, and I always say where these are really, really soft lines, we're going to erase these lines. Do the same thing here. And we're going to draw the lines in like this. Okay, and for the feet, just draw some circles. Now for the back legs, we can do the same thing. And I'm gonna bring, so let's say his legs were coming out here. I'm gonna make it, so that way it looks like he's walking a little bit. So we'll just we'll create a little bit of a different position here. And then for this leg, let's put the leg up in the air like this. And that's the beauty of using ovals, is that we can create different positions of the body joints without having to worry about what they look like. Okay, and then for the tail, this is the fun part, we're just going to draw, you can just draw a squiggly line to represent the tail, nothing fancy. Okay, when we get all that done, grab your ink pen. Okay, we're going to start with the head. And we're going to start here, and we're, we're going to bring, we're, okay, first of all, be careful what lines you draw here, because this line, we're going to start at the top of the head, and we're going to work our way around and down to the nose, and then we're going to come around and under. There's a lot of lines in here that we're not going to draw, because we don't need them anymore. We're just using them as reference lines. Okay, so let's go ahead and start here, and we're going to bring this out, around, and down, and then like this. And if it looks a little bit confusing, if you put a dark circle here, that'll give you an idea where the nose is. Okay, now for the ears, this is kind of a mistake, to be honest with you. Cats that we have around our house, they have pointy ears, but lions and tigers, or in our case a liger, they have round ears. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up and kind of do one of these. And we'll do the same thing here. Okay, now at this point you need to make a choice because if you want a female liger, we're going to leave it like this and we're going to finish everything off. If you're going to run, draw a male liger, we're going to have to draw a mane and, and, and I'm going to go ahead and do that just to give it a little bit uh, because somebody's going to ask me how you do it. So we'll just go ahead and do it and what we're going to do is we're just going to draw some lines like this. We're going to go behind the ear. 
and it's just going to kind of zigzag around like this. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and don't draw over the ear. You got to pretend that it's kind of not there. Okay, because male tigers have manes, and since this is a liger, I'm going to put the mane on there. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring the mouth out, so the mouth will be right there. And I'm going to draw, go ahead and draw the eyes in, and the eyes are just going to be two circles. There's one and two. And I'm going to give them some eyebrows like that. Okay, don't forget the whiskers. there. Okay, for the ears, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of definition here. And we're going to bring this down just a little bit. And kind of give it a little bit more definition in the head. Okay, that was the hardest part. If you made it that far, the rest is easy. Oh, don't forget, we can draw this in here. That'll give them a little bit of a nose. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the body over, and we're going to draw this down and I'm going to leave that open right there. And before you draw the rear end in here, we're going to want to draw the legs in first. So let's take the, fr the front legs first. We always draw the front first. So this is going to come down and down like this. And then we'll draw our paw. And we'll do the same thing with the back leg. And this is going to be the back of the leg. Usually the rear end kind of goes into the leg like this. Okay. And then we're going to bring his neck down. I'm going to make him a little tubby here. And up. All right, now we draw the tail, which is fun. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the other legs in, and I'm just going to bring this down and up and kind of give him this paw here. And then we'll draw his back leg. Now, I drew the back leg back here, didn't I? So let's bring that down like this. Looks a little, looks a little screwy, but we got it. Okay, and then we'll draw his toes in. All right, now this is gonna get a little complicated. Tigers have stripes, and the way that their stripes are organized is they're kind of pointy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and we'll draw a bunch of these. So we're gonna draw one up, and then another one, and another one, and we'll do the same thing underneath. They kind of, you know, they go back and forth with each other. That goes up there, and we'll do the same thing in the legs. thing here. I know I'm moving pretty quick because I got to keep this video short. You can come back and look at it, what I'm doing here. All right, don't forget this one right here. And most importantly in the face. Like that. And then in the tail, Kind of go back and forth. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put some ground that he's going to be standing on, just some squiggly lines. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to color all of these in, and I'm going to skip the video ahead so you don't have to watch me doing that because that's going to take a little bit of time here. Okay, here we go. This is what everything looks like after I've colored everything in. It's not the cleanest job, but you get the idea. Okay, let's grab your eraser and we'll go erase the pencil lines.
Okay, we're gonna go over this and we'll get all the lines out of here that we don't need anymore and things will look a lot better. Just start erasing here. And we get all the lines out. There we go. Not a bad looking liger. Looks like he's hunting a mouse or something. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any other suggestions about animals you'd like to draw, please let them down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up, and most of all, please subscribe. That helps me get cartoons out to everybody. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.